Hello, thank you for joining me on this lovely winter's afternoon. I'm just out for a walk in Rickmansworth, Hertfordshire, walking through a housing estate of, um, well, fairly posh houses. It looks like your fairly average, you know, nice housing estate. You're probably thinking, what on earth I found to make a video on? Well, it's this road here, Spencer Walk. Something that a few houses do up here, which is um, rather unusual. I've never seen this anywhere else in everywhere I've ever been. So um, we'll go up here and I'll show you what that is. So obviously all houses are identified wherever you go. Nearly always with numbers. Some estates, they're identified with names. Now normally the numbers, you know, um, especially on the older estates, uh, evens on one side, odds on the other. Sometimes some of the newer colder stacks, you know, it goes one, two, three, four, five, etc. in a circle. And obviously, you know, most houses display their numbers. Um, to make it easy for the postman and any deliveries. Well, it's down this road, it's the way a few houses, I thought it was just a one-off when I came along here, but I found a few houses like this, have chosen to display their numbers, which is unusual, I'm impressed by, and I think it's really quite cool. Have a look at this, number three, Spencer Walk. In the hedge, they, you know, got it in the hedge. It's also been decorated with lights, this particular one. So that's number three, Spencer Walk grown out of um, a coniferous hedge. I think it's quite a cool idea. It's not every house. What would be really quite cool is if, um, well, maybe not there, but if like, if every house had it, that would be pretty amazing and impressive, but it's not every house, it's just a few. So number three has it. We're working our way up. So it is the odd numbers on this side of the road, passing number seven. You can see on the front door, they've got a fairly conventional number. Here's number nine. Have a look at this. Number nine has a, um, I think it's a Leylandii. Number nine in the hedge. So yeah, that's pretty cool as well. In fact, it's not just got number nine in the hedge. It's also got, um, to me, it looks like a bulkhead rail. Right? I don't think that's what it's meant to be. Is that an Irish harp? Not sure. And again, or is it a chess piece? I'm not sure, but it looks to be like a bulkhead rail on a railway, but I don't think that's what it's meant to be. Now, what would be cool is if number 11 here had number 11 in the hedge, but they haven't. So, um, as I said, not every house down here does it. There was at least one more further up here. So what we'll do, we'll just keep walking and see how many we find. Um, I just think it's cool and different. I like different things. It might be fairly simple. That's obviously, you know, required some skill to cut the numbers in that shape. Okay, that house over there, it's got a nice bit of tropery, but can't see a number on it. That's number 24. What have we got? Yeah, now they've not got it, nor has this one. They've got the hedge to do it. So I don't know how, how did it come about? Did someone down this road think, oh, I'll, um, I'll cut my number in the hedge. And then suddenly everyone else was like, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to do the same. I don't know. In fact, when we get to here, we are no longer in Spencer Walk. Spencer Walk ends here. At Spencer Walk, we come into Linwood Heights. So it looks like there's only actually two houses in Spencer Walk with it. There's one more up here, or at least one more that I know about. Um, unless I am to find any more, just a bit further on. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep walking a bit further because it's a little way on and I'll show you the other one. Okay, so we are now about 100 yards further up Linwood Drive. I think it's, um, so that's number 14 now. So we, they were odd numbers on that side, but now they're even numbers because it's almost like they're two dead end roads, but you can drive right through. And it's here, number 12. Also has, um, it's a shame number 14 hasn't got it on the other side, but yeah, number 12, Linwood Drive has it. So they're the ones I know about. I am just gonna walk to the end of the road, just to see if there's any more, but I think that will be it. So off Linwood Heights, I came to another road called Lime Tree Walk, a little dead end road. I'm standing down the end. I'm actually on a, on a roundabout. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I've never seen such a quiet roundabout. So quiet that I can just walk onto it. Um, last time I did a video, I went onto a roundabout. Have a look at the link on screen now. It took me about half an hour to get off the roundabout. That was in Portugal. Um, that was something completely different. But yeah, look at this roundabout. So quiet. I mean, I'm surprised, you know, they don't even need to put traffic lights and that to, you know, even the flow of cars going around this roundabout. Um, so yeah, right, back to unusual house numbers. 
So this is the third road we've come to and there is one more that I know of, I've spotted down here. So I'll show you that and then that'll probably be it for this video. It's um, yeah, been really quite different from my usual. It was a bit unplanned, I was just out for a walk, ended up making this video. So um, after today we'll be back to my usual things, railways, castles, etc. Um, go into interesting historic sites. But the next one, well, in fact, if we're looking ahead of us, there's a quite an array of tropery and everything in these few houses here. But it's number 14 that um, has it. It's actually slightly differently because all the others came out. Number 14 goes in. So here, look, and it's on a bush rather than a hedge. So that's number 14. It's kind of cut in like an odd sort of... It's quite clever, actually, how they've got the holes in the right place. And it has... If we have a look, oh no, that's not it. So there must be another one somewhere. Oh no, it's, it was number 14, yeah, I walked straight past it. Number 14 then, it has two, although you don't see it from that angle. Number 14, there, and we have a number, number 14 here. And I think number 14 then um, probably wins the prize for the best tropery in the whole road. As it's called Lime Tree Walk, I assume that's because, well, the trees up there a limes a beech tree as well that house has got a few rose bushes i'm sure they'll look really nice so yeah number 14 so it's got like a, a bird just there out of tropery and those trees are quite cool so this is the hertfordshire housing estate where you have houses and there's a few more tropery bits there with their numbers i'll be really really impressed if um, there was one where the whole name was done out of tropery. That's a challenge for anyone who lives here. Can you grow your name out of tropery? Um, I just think it's really cool. I just like things that are different, you know, that just make, you know, something that may seem fairly sort of uneventful, an uneventful place like a quiet housing estate like this seem a bit different. Seeing name, your, your house number grown, it's just different and fun and exciting. So that's why um, I thought I'd make this little video today. If anyone knows of anywhere else that's got, you know, is there a road somewhere where every house has, um, you know, the the numbers grown out of tropery or, or even any other more unusual way than, you know, your average um, number sign? I don't know. So, yeah, we just come to the end of Lime Tree Walk. I can see number 12, Linwood Heights, in the distance down there, the house that I discovered with this rather different sort of um, identification system. I don't suppose the postman has any excuse for giving them the wrong letters at all. And there's a huge hedge here, but it is just a fairly plain, simple hedge with, um, other than being quite tall, nothing on it. So I'm gonna now finish my walk home. I'm not expecting to find anything else quite so unusual. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment and from a slightly different housing estate in Hertfordshire. Goodbye.